Hey YouTube, so in my previous video I showed how I built this sap evaporator uh, to run off natural gas. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the test to see how many gallons per hour I can uh, burn off with it. This is a 2x4 pan, so it should take 10 gallons to get a 2 inch depth in the main pan itself and then it's got the preheater which I'll keep topped off and uh, that'll dribble down in there. I got just a paint stick here with a notch in it at 2 inches so then I can test and uh, make sure that that draw rate off the preheater is keeping my sap pan ad adequately full. I'll leave a link to the video of building it uh, in the cards up above so you can watch for that little icon to pop up. But without further ado, I'm going to get to filling this up. Yeah, they're right on the money, about 10 gallons. And once we get going, I'll go top off all these buckets again. To start, I'm going to fire it up. We just fired up. Right now it is 11.29. We'll see how long it takes to get to a boil. And then uh, once we get to that boil point, then we'll start the clock again to see what it can do in one hour. Alright, I'm going to call this boiling now. It is 11.51. I doubt you guys are going to be able to see this just because of all the steam. As you can see, you're starting to get some bubbles in there. Alright you guys, it's 12.51 now, so it's been an hour since I started this. Doesn't seem like I burned off as much as I thought I would be.
we'll let her cool down a bit. All right, you guys, so now it's cooled off a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that preheater. I'm gonna let that drain into the tank and then I'll be drying off out the spigot here. So in total I had put 16 gallons in here. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna fill up this four gallon bucket to the brim, uh, you know, however many times it takes. And that should tell me how much I've lost in the time I've been burning. The valve is very restrictive, how slow it comes out. I think what I'll actually do, because this one seems to flow even faster than that, I'm going to actually just grab the other bucket and fill up right out of the preheater. Alright you guys, well now that it's down to just a drip here and the bucket's half full, uh, that's two gallons in there plus the eight that I dumped already, so that's ten gallons out of the sixteen. Uh, so that means I did six gallons in that hour. Now there's a few factors that I'm sure play a toll on this. Number one, it's pretty windy today. Number two, I'm not sure about how that smokestack if that's worth having as you know all that uh, cold air is coming up to displace the hot air that's going out the pipe so I'm not sure if I maybe should put a damper on there at least to just play around with it and see if that helps at all uh, because I was kind of anticipating more along the lines of 10 gallons per hour um, granted I as soon as I started that timer it just got started boiling it wasn't on a rolling boil or anything um, so I'm sure that has a little bit of effect on it but uh, overall, I'm happy with it. Uh, I didn't have to feed it firewood. I really didn't have to tend to it. And I'm sure as soon as you uh, get used to the rate of boil, you'd be able to set this up so then it stays constant with the preheater feeding it. Uh, this being my first time using it or trying it, I should say. Uh, I don't really have a feel for it. So I'm sure that would come with uh, just, just use of it. But overall, yeah, I'm happy. And... Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you have any questions for me. Thanks for watching.